Hello everyone and I welcome you all to the webinar of Zoho Inventory. As you can see, uh, today's topic would be inventory management uh, for growing businesses. My name is Akhil and I'll be taking the webinar for today. Please note that this is a listen only webinar and uh, you can post your questions at the question bar and uh, I'll be answering them. So uh, to begin with, let's see uh, how does Zoho Inventory work. So this is a very high level view of uh, you know all the workflow that you can uh, use to see how Zoho Inventory works. So basically, uh, you know you can create a vendor, uh, create a purchase order, create warehouses, uh, create a sales order, and uh, you know customers and manage all these through Zoho Inventory. Now, going forward, uh, let's see the different sales channels uh, you would be selling your items in. So one would be a dealers and distributors, a multi-brand outlet, exclusive stores, or online marketplaces, online retail stores, uh, etc. So uh, Zoho Inventory uh, will allow you to basically manage all these different sales channels and uh, manage your orders across these sales channels as well. So let's take a look at uh, you know the different modules that is there uh, within Zoho Inventory and uh, how does it work. So the first, first uh, according to the flow which you would have seen earlier, the first process will be to purchase your items. So let's see how Zoho Inventory handles that. So before we move into Zoho uh, the purchase section, so uh, let me. Uh, tell a bit more about Zoho Inventory. So as you can see, this would be the dashboard of Zoho Inventory that you see. It's a neat dashboard wherein you have all the sales activities, inventory summary reports, product details, top selling items, purchase order, sales orders, sales order history, and all these details. So the dashboard will give you an idea about what, uh, what are the transactions that you have done so far in Zoho Inventory. So, uh, and one good thing about this would be that uh, each of these modules that you see within the dashboard are internally hotwired. So you click on any of these modules, it will take you to the respective patterns module and you will be able to do the transactions or keep a track of your orders, packages, shipments, etc. using the dashboard itself. Moving forward, uh, so let's take a look at the contact section. Uh, the contact section would be wherein you would be creating your own customers or your vendors. So you can fill in these information. Uh, you know uh, the the name, display name, tax preferences, uh, price list, uh, etc. And again, uh, you will be able to add uh, the customer's billing address, shipping address, custom fields if you want to provide more. Uh, uh, additional information more on this on the later part of the webinar uh, you can create reporting tags and uh, use it to run uh, specific reports in Zoho books or if you want to add notes for uh, you know the internal purpose or notes for the customer you can do that as well uh, you can choose between to create a customer and a vendor by just a click of a button here so this creates a customer or a vendor uh, depending upon uh, the contact that you would be creating. So uh, clicking on uh, any of the contacts, you get a neat display of all the overview of that particular contact, uh, all the receivables, uh, you know, the addresses, all uh, in a brief, you know, what are the transactions that you have done so far for that particular customer, all the transactions here, you can which you can filter it out based on uh, you know the uh, invoices purchase orders bills etc and you can also uh, print the statement for that uh, customer and you can filter it out based on if he is a customer or a vendor and uh, you can choose the transactions as well and uh, you can just click here to create a new transactions as well and all the additional trans uh, options that you can do for a contact you will be able to find within the more options going forward uh, to purchase something yes you would need items so the item inside zoho inventory is divided into basically uh, three modules which are namely item groups items composite items so let us take a look at how item groups work so 
I'm just creating a new item group here. Say t-shirt. So you can associate different attributes uh, for a particular uh, t-shirt. So uh, I am choosing color, which may be red, black, blue, etc. And let us choose one more attribute here. Say size. So you can have up to maximum of three attributes. Now I have to provide SKUs for these. I'm just, uh, let's give it a purchase price. I'm just going to copy it for all. And the selling price be 100. You can also, if you have an opening stock, you can uh, include that as well. So, say 10, copy to all. Say 50, and I'm just copying into all. And yeah, so you can add a brand if you want to add and uh, you can simply hit save. So this creates an item group here and uh, so you will get, get a neat display of uh, all the items that is there within uh, the item groups and the good thing about this would be that each and each and every individual item can be sold as a separate line item as well. Moving forward to the items so uh, again you can simply uh, enter the item name the SKU selling and purchase information and uh, you can track the inventory as well. And uh, coming to the third part, which is the composite items. So what it does allow you to create multiple uh, bundles uh, of uh, single items. So let, let's take a look at how this works. So I'm just going to create a bundle of t-shirts here. I'm just providing a random SKU and unit. So I'm going to select uh, the t-shirts which we have created so yeah so I have, I'm gonna select just three items here let's say three of each unit. So what Zoho Inventory does is that based on the selling and the purchase price of these three individual items, it will calculate the total purchase and selling price that you have uh, need for this particular composite item. So you can simply copy it from total or if you want to enter it manually, you can do that as well. So uh, the option is yours and you can choose an inventory account and hit save. So uh, this creates a bill of materials. Now you can basically create a bundle. So you provide a bundling number and uh, you can choose the quantities to bundle. So depending on the raw materials that you have here, uh, the system will automatically calculate uh, the units of the bundle that you can create from the uh, raw materials that you have in stock. So if I say I'm going to bundle two items, I can hit save and uh, this creates a bundle here for uh, 
the t-shirts now uh, you can see that if i click on the overview the accounting stock and the physical stock of this bundle has changed to two and if you take a look at each of these items the quantity would be have reduced four so initially we would have uh, you know while creating them the opening stock of the item was given as 10 which you can see here and it has now reduced by six since i provided uh, you know i created a two bundles so this is how uh, you will be able to create bundles and uh, one more additional uh, thing is that you will be able to add services as well as uh, to the uh, composite item so uh, you can use it for manufacturing pur purposes as well so in the item section you will be able to see all the transactions uh, that you have done uh, item adjustments bundling history etc now uh, uh, let's take a look at how to create a purchase order now you can simply select a vendor I'm just choosing to one item here. So once this is done, you will be able to create a purchase receipt. Just enter the number. And uh, this purchase receipt uh, can directly be converted into a bill as well. So the bill, just provide the bill number. You can save it as open and uh, you can record uh, the payment for this particular transaction. So this is, uh, you know, this completes the purchase cycle, how you will uh, purchase your items, etc. Now, going forward, let's uh, take a look at the order fulfillment process that happens within Zoho Inventory. So uh, you this would be the normal process wherein you place a, uh, or sales order, a customer places an order to you, that becomes the sales order. You can uh, sell, then, uh, you know, the customer pays you, you can create an invoice and then, you know, you can pack it and uh, shipment, uh, create a shipment and uh, track your shipment in real time as well. So going forward, uh, let's it, take a look at how that works. So I'm just creating a new sales order here. In, uh, select the item, save it as draft. So once it is uh, saved as draft, uh, you can create a package or an invoice from the sales order. Please note that uh, in Zoho Inventory, there are two modes of stock tracking. So one would be based on uh, shipments and receive, and the other would be based on invoices and bills. So uh, depending on the mode of stock tracking that you have chosen, uh, the inventory will automatically get updated. So I'm just creating a package. You can either ship via manually or ship via carrier. Uh, so uh, I will uh, talk about more the carry. Uh, I'll talk more about the shipment using carrier in the later part of the webinar. Uh, so I'm just choosing ship manually here, and uh, the order number. Select a carrier. Um, let's be FedEx. Tracking, and uh, if you want to, uh, you know send a notification to the customer you can save as uh, create that as well and once it is shipped and once it reaches to your customer you can mark it as delivered again a sales order can be converted into an invoice as well so you can simply click on new invoice save it as draft and then record the payment for the particular invoice that you have created so uh, this completes the uh, order management process or the order management and fulfillment process. So uh, we are also integrated with a lot of payment gateways. Uh, so I'll talk about this in the later part of the webinar, how, the, how exactly you will be able to automate your payment process. Again, uh, package, create a package and shipment and tracking. Uh, now let's take an example uh, wherein you do do not have sufficient uh, items in your inventory. So how does Zoho Inventory helps you to manage when you you are running on running on low stock? So there are three processes how by which uh, Zoho Inventory allows you to fulfill the orders even though you are low on stock. So namely transfer orders, back ordering, and drop shipment. 
So let's take a look at uh, each of these uh, one by one. So first one would be transfer orders. So what it does is that Zoho Inventory has something called as multi warehouses facility, wherein you will be able to create multiple locations and you will be able to track the inventory for them. So for each item, you will be able to say on one location you are running low on stock, you can click simply create a transfer order, uh, select the source and the destination warehouse, click the item that you would like to transfer and uh, simply hit transfer. So you can initiate the transfer and then mark it as received or you can, uh, you know, directly uh, transfer and then receive it automatically. Now the next process would be back ordering. So uh, you, you, you create a sales order and you can mark that sales order as a, uh, to create a back ordered PO. So how the, that work would be that, uh, so uh, let, me, let me create a simple sales order here. So once I do, uh, I can mark it as confirmed and just let me edit uh, the package here as 100 so that so please note that uh, you know you select an inventory tracked item here So once uh, you know uh, the stock has on the order is less than uh, more than what you have in available, uh, you can simply click on back order now and select the item. So this automatically creates a purchase order, and you can select the vendor and simply create a back order. So once you until uh, so when you create a back order, uh, the status of the SO will automatically go to on hold. So uh, you would have to create a bill first. So once you do, uh, you know, the status of the bill will automatically change to open and uh, you can then fulfill the order. So if I go back to that purchase order, you can see that the status of the sales order is confirmed and now you will be able to create a package and invoice and uh, fulfill the order as well. Now the third process would be drop shipment. So basically wherein you can directly uh, create a drop shipment and ask your vendor to fulfill the order. So for that, again, let me create a sales order here. Just marking it as confirmed. And now I can use the mark for drop shipment option. And uh, this creates a PO, uh, which you can uh, bill it once uh, you know you receive the bill from your vendor. So this, these would be the three methods how you will be able to uh, you know manage your inventory even if you're running low on stock. So let's take a look at uh, you know the different inventory control mechanism that Zoho Inventory has to offer. So one would be the serial number tracking, batch tracking, kitting, uh, barcode scanning, adjustments, and reorder level. So uh, you can uh, to initially enable this functionality, you would have to go to settings, preferences, and uh, in the items, you will be able to enable the serial or batch number tracking. So once I do. Whenever you create an item, I go back to an item, you will be able to choose uh, whether to track the serial numbers for an item. If I say two, I can then enter the serial numbers and track them accordingly. So this is how uh, you know you can always provide a batch number as well to the item, and uh, you know you will be able to create an invoice by selecting a sales or uh, serial number tracked item, or uh, even a bill uh, to track the inventory for the serial number item. Kitting is nothing but the composite items which we had discussed earlier. Uh, coming to barcode scanning, 
uh, Zoho Inventory supports barcode scanning. You would have to provide the barcode uh, number in the SKU field of the item here. Once you do, uh, you will be able to scan uh, using a barcode uh, whenever you create a transactions in Zoho Inventory. So be it a sales order, be it an invoice, be it a purchase order or bill, you will be able to simply scan in the item. And uh, so Zoho Inventory check for uh, checks for that particular uh, SKU and uh, it, the item will automatically get populated in the invoice. Uh, next would be the reorder level. So whenever you create a new item, you can specify a reorder point. So once your stock reaches below that particular reorder point, you will get an automated email saying that, uh, you know, the stocks for these items has fallen below the reorder level and uh, you need to reorder them. The email to which you would like to send the notification can be uh, configured again in the settings page. So you can go to here and uh, if you wish to get out of stock warning, you can simply enable that. And uh, once you do enable, you will get uh, the reorder notifications as well. And uh, the next would be the item adjustment. So if there is any mismatch between the physical and uh, the Zoho inventory stock, you will be able to simply put a reference number, choose a reason and make an inventory adjustment as well. So simply hit save and this creates the inventory adjustment. Uh, moving forward, so uh, let's take a look at the different uh, settings and preferences uh, within Zoho Inventory. So the settings and preferences would be wherein uh, first would be the organizational profile wherein you will be able to see, uh, you know, set up uh, the business location, company address, uh, primary contact, etc. Going forward, uh, the next thing would be the users and roles, wherein you will be able to invite uh, users into Zoho Inventory and uh, provide custom roles as well, wherein you can create a new role, uh, give permissions uh, or, uh, you know, remove the permissions or uh, the access to certain modules if you don't want your users to access them. Next would be currencies, uh, wherein you can add a new currency or, uh, you know, enable or disable the exchange rate feeds as well. You can set up your taxes, uh, you know, add a new a new tax value to the system. Uh, price list, uh, what it allows you to do is that you can create custom price list for a particular vendor or a customer, wherein if you want to enter a rate for each item individually, you can do that as well. And uh, whenever this price list gets applied in any transaction, the rates of the items or, uh, you know, the total value of the order automatically changes depending on the price list that you have selected. Uh, template uh, allows you to, you know, customize your template uh, to a certain level wherein you can change uh, the background color, uh, image position, all the uh, header and documentation, item tables information. If you want to add an additional field, you can do that as well. And again, email template. Uh, this again allows you to uh, edit the template of the email emails that would be sent out from Zoho Inventory. Coming to the preferences, uh, you will be able to set the general preferences like the discount preference, uh, whether your items will be included of ta tax, etc. And uh, you can set the mode of stock tracking as well, uh, where, whether it will be uh, calculated based on receipts and shipments or based on bills and invoices. Again, you will be able to set the address format. If you want to add any additional labels, you can uh, configure it accordingly so that this would be the way it gets displayed on your template. Uh, coming to branding, again, you can upload your logo, select the theme that you would like to have, uh, you know, within the uh, application. Uh, moving to contacts, you can uh, set the contract uh, address format, the billing and the shipping format for the customer and always add uh, custom fields, which I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the webinar. So you you can have a variety of data type and uh, create, a, you know, choose a label name and create a variety of custom fields as well. Moving to the items, uh, as uh, you, you can enable the price list composite item module. Again, you can add the custom fields. Sales order, you can, uh, you know, uh, set the sales order preferences wherein uh, you can choose when the sales order needs to be closed. If you want to add additional statuses, 
for the parent status you can simply create them as well wherein you can uh, provide custom statuses for the sales orders so this does that uh, again packages so you can have the custom field shipment you can change uh, if you want to you know the notification uh, settings that you can uh, configure it from here add uh, additional uh, fields again uh, you can add the custom fields for the invoices uh, you know set up the payment uh, terms how uh, the customer gets paid uh, payment terms and terms and condition and the thank you notes can be added here and all the custom fields for payments received purchase orders bills etc can be added from this particular section and uh, the automation provides you to uh, you know set up workflow rules basically you can set up a email alert or a field alert or uh, you know create a webhook uh, to trigger certain uh, automation functionality using apis or simply by selecting a module and uh, you know provide that update as well going forward uh, let's take a look at the different integrations that soho inventory has to offer so go into the integrations. Now uh, the first part will be the after ship integration. So what it does is that it allows you to track your shipments in real time. So uh, it will provide. You can simply enter the tracking number into Zoho Inventory. Choose the shipper uh, you know that you are shipping it to, through, and all the uh, information from the point wherein the shipment leaves your warehouse will be displayed within the system. We integrate uh, with forty plus shipping carriers as well. So once you do integrate, uh, what happens is that uh, you will be able to generate the labels as well as uh, fetch the rates for your packages through Zoho itself. Uh, moving forward to the marketplaces, uh, we integrate with Amazon, Etsy, eBay and uh, shopping carts. We have Shopify, BigCommerce, Magento, WooCommerce, PrestaShop, Zoe, etc. as well. So let's take a look at how this works. Uh, you know what happens is that during the initial fetch uh, the items from your marketplaces will be synced into zoho inventory and subsequently any orders that you would be placing in your marketplace will be fetched into zoho inventory and you will be able to create invoices and uh, again fulfill your orders through zoho inventory and once it gets fulfilled uh, you know the inventory quantity from uh, zoho inventory will be pushed to your marketplaces along with the shipment details as well Moving forward to the online payments, uh, which we talked about in the earlier part, uh, you will be able to integrate with any of these payment gateways and automate uh, the payment, uh, you know, the payment receive process that you do with your customers. So uh, whenever if you integrate, for example, say with PayPal, whenever uh, you will be sending an invoice to the customer, a link will be uh, sent along with the invoice wherein uh, the customer can enter their car details and uh, pay you online as well moving forward to the accounting so we have our own uh, you know accounting software called zoho books so zoho inventory and zoho box would be seamlessly integrated with each other so any change you make in zoho box will get reflected uh, in zoho uh, inventory and vice versa with a blink so all your accounting as well as uh, you know your inventory management can be done seamlessly through these two platforms moving forward to the crm uh, we have an in-house crm called zoho crm and uh, you know all your accounts contacts and vendors that you have in crm will come into zoho inventory as contact and contact persons upon integration and uh, the products that you have in crm will become items in zoho inventory and uh, you will also be able to sync the transactional modules like sales orders, estimates, invoices, etc., uh, to Zoho Inventory or uh, to the finance applications as well. Again, you can integrate with Avalara to automate uh, your tax calculation process as well. Basically, so once you integrate, uh, you know, Avalara, it will calculate the or it will, uh, you know, automate the tax calculation process for you. Uh, coming to chat, uh, we integrate with Zoho Click, which is again an in-house chat application that we have to offer. So once you create, uh, you know, create a click, uh, a click channel will be created, uh, and all the notifications that you receive for this organization will be visible in your uh, click channel. And uh, the other applications that we integrate with would be.
uh, G Suite, uh, Slack, and Microsoft. So if you integrate with Slack, again, it's similar to the Zoho Click, wherein you can cre create your own Slack channel and all the notifications that comes into your uh, organization will be visible in that Slack channel. Again, uh, you can integrate your G Suite or my Office 365 account with Zoho Inventory to bring in all the users and contacts uh, from Zoho Inventory into Zoho Inventory as well. Coming forward to the report, so we provide a variety of reports uh, which you can customize uh, depending on a date range uh, and uh, you can run them. Uh, so these reports will allow you to keep a track on the daily transactions that you do with Zoho Inventory as well. So uh, thank you for uh, uh, you know uh, attending the webinar and if you have any questions please do post your questions at the question bar or you can simply uh, contact us at support at zoho-inventory.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.